Quinn Garapé from the University of Arizona. DD at 2.4 on this forward two and a half. Summer Salt Tuck. Mike, excuse me. Oh, good looking dive. Little bit over rotated there. This is a very easy dive for her in terms of having the speed and, and strength to make this dive around. So what she has to do is make sure when she hits the water, she's perfectly vertical. And you see right there, her legs just start to fade a little bit past vertical. Seven and a half better and has more difficult dives. Yeah, which even a solid score of seven that would score you well, but coupled with a DD of 2.4, which is one of the lower DDs that we will see. So that degree of difficulty really matters in this event. Garrett pays in with her 51-52B. We're going to see a couple of divers competing this dive. It's called a full out. It's a front two and a half. A lot happening in this dive, and you really need to get the right angle and momentum coming off of the diving board on that takeoff. It's absolutely critical. She has to pike down a little too much water in order to try to make it all the way around and end it. Smashing them around. <laughs> exactly. That was Lebanon score, and now in our instantaneous world, especially us on the TV side, where's the score, where's the score? Dive meets was huge when it came out. That that changed the sport for a lot of us. Good Garpe, a 107C, same dive that we saw from Lebanon. Oh, there we go. I like that front three and a half really quick. She's so speedy in those rotations. I'd love to see a little bit more, a little bit more pointing her toes, like little get those eights and, and maybe some higher scores. But for right now, I mean, she should be so excited with that dive. That's under rotated or over rotated? Oh man, and they both hurt. It just depends on how far, with whichever direction. Three hundred five C for Gary Bay. We will see this dive from her teammate. Following this, uh, reverse two and a half in the tuck position. Now the last two dives we saw were in the pike position, which again that is more difficult. It is harder to do a reverse two and a half pike than it is tuck because you can rotate much faster in a tuck. This is an excellent dive. Cautious reaching for the water. Uh, Five point five points in this round is solid enough to kind of keep her in it. Mention, Queen Garapé, that's where the leaderboard started to tighten up. She had a 224, 25 points behind Schnell. Back two and a half, somersault tuck. She took a little bit of time there at the end of the diving board. Um, I don't know if that was quite long enough for there to be any deduction associated with it. I think she kind of got the dive going just in time in order to prevent that. But if somebody is standing there taking too long to begin their dive, the judges can take points off. Monitors that we have, but sitting here. So you had to look all the way down that way. Yeah, well, it's a little bit of a weird angle, too. I don't know. I wouldn't be looking at the exact same thing all the judges are. So Definitely that would be, not. It'd be a fun experiment to see how that goes. Quick air paper will close out. Same dive. As Lebanon. Oh, that's a little bit better. This e this is almost the opposite of what we just saw from Lebanon in the round before. A little too cautious, reaching for the water. She had plenty of speed and ability, but maybe comes out of that tuck of hair too early and cautious, leaving it just a fraction, a couple degrees shy. Of